Good morning, friends. Greetings and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements in my practice where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your health and vitality and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body. You are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health challenge. That is why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 30 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes and hypertension and obesity and skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds. Recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle. But what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system It's a healing system. It's a regenerating system. It is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment basis. And while some folks may call that healing, renewing, regenerating system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health or nutrition or prescription drugs, we are here for you. If you want to wean yourself off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we can help you do that. If you have a success story you'd like to share, if you have questions about formulations or ingredients or skin health skin health uh, issues or skin health products, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side, 844-236-6010. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products you hear advertised or recommended on the program, you can head over to my website, brightsideben.com, also pharmacistben.com, and also criticalhealthnews.com. You can order products right off the website, or you can call the phone team at 866-735-2470, 866 735 Tell them you want to join the Brightside Ben team. You can start yourself a little business, make some money selling longevity products, and help spread the word about how important and how powerful a good nutritional supplement program can be. If you want to start a business that helps people, that makes a difference in people's lives, if you've used nutritional supplements and they've made a difference in your life, if you've been on the longevity supplement, I know, supplement program, I know many of you have for any length of time, and you want to help spread the word and share the power of these products and the power of the ideas we talk about here on the Bright Side every day and make some money doing it as well, call the phone team at 866-735-2470 for a one-time $25 investment. You can have a business, you can make some money, and you can spread the good news, the power, the gospel of good nutrition. That's what I call it, the gospel of good nutrition, the good news that says we don't have to be sick, that says we don't have to be fixed. We need to be fed and we need to be nutritionally supple. We need to just practice a few basic ideas, basic health ideas, including nutritional supplementation, including diet, including thoughts, as we'll talk about here in a little bit, including feelings and emotions. None of it requires doctors. None of it requires drugs. How powerful is that, you guys? If you're dealing with a chronic long-term degenerative disease, you don't need a doctor. If you're dealing with high blood pressure, you don't need a doctor. If you're dealing with cardiovascular disease, unless you have a heart attack and you have some kind of emergency, you don't need a doctor. If you have diabetes, you don't need a doctor. You don't need a pharmacist. You don't need me. You don't need anybody. You just need the power of the human body, which is something that we all have access to. That's what the bright side is all about. That's what longevity is all about. All right. Our number today, 844-236-6010. We'll get your calls at the bottom of the hour, as we always do. We've been talking about the two major health strategies of calming the body down, calming the body down and activating the parasympathetic nervous system. They're basically the same thing. When we calm the body down, the parasympathetic nervous system takes over. The parasympathetic nervous system is the rest and digest nervous system. And anything we could do to activate this rest and digest nervous system will keep us young and healthy. And if we're aging at an, at an accelerated pace, it will help us slow that down. And if we're dealing with a chronic degenerative disease, it will help us reverse it. How do you activate the parasympathetic nervous system? You keep your calories down. You use the ketogenic diet. We talked a lot about how to use the brain and the mind with calming strategies like mindfulness, meditation, noticing our surroundings, noticing anything, paying attention, body rhythms, and make no mistake about it. 
the brain and its and its invisible partner, the mind. The brain is the visible is the visible manifestation of the mind. The mind shows up in the brain. So this mind brain system is our most critical organ when it comes to understanding how to reverse chronic degenerative disease. If we're sick, we can reverse it. If we're not sick, if we're just if we're healthy and we want to stay that way, again, this mind brain system is the key. Our thoughts have a powerful impact on how our body develops and how our DNA and the genes turn on and off. Yes, the DNA and the genes turn on and off. They're not fixed with some small exceptions. That's called epigenetics. The body is secondary to the mind. And the reason no one's telling this, by the way, is you can't build the mind. You can't charge somebody for thoughts. That's why the placebo effect, which everybody recognizes, drug companies and doctors and medical professionals and professors and every, anybody who's in the health field knows that there's a placebo effect. That sugar pills work as well as drugs for a certain amount of people. And this is why the, the placebo effect is something nobody talks about, because you can't bill for the placebo effect. So they have to filter it out. That's why it's ignored. That's why it's dismissed. And once we understand how this mind-brain system impacts our health, there's going to be a lot of unemployed drug company executives. There's going to be a lot of drug companies going out of business. Do you guys see Bayer is uh, bidding to buy Monsanto, by the way? How do you like that? A drug company is bidding to buy the most evil company on the planet. Enough said. Of course, while the, uh, the mind, the invisible and intangible mind is important, key, primal, when it comes to stress and the anti-stress response and the sympathetic nervous system and the parasympathetic nervous system, eventually the mind has to become tangible and visible and measurable. It works through the brain. The mind works through the brain and this is all represented by the hormones, which is what we've been talking about. The hormones are the first place where non-material thoughts, where the invisible mind becomes material, becomes visible and tangible and physical, where the measure, uh, immeasurable, the non-measurable becomes measurable. We take invisible, abstract, intangible thoughts and we turn them into our body via the action of hormones. Hormones. That's the hor that's the role of hormones. Hormones means messenger, by the way. Hormeo, I arouse to activity. It's Greek. It's, it refers to the messenger aspect. What is the hormone messaging? It's taking information from the brain and from the, from the mind itself, from the mind to the brain. It takes the information, it transforms it into a language called hormones. Hormones are the language of the brain. And this the control that we have over the body via our mind, brain, and hormone systems is in the Bible. It says, do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind. That's Paul talking in Romans. Do not be, trans do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewal of the mind, of your mind. The power of the mind. Don't underestimate it. And if you want to see how it works, if you want something more physical and tangible, it's the hormones that are the manifestation of the brain-mind complex. You've got two kinds of hormones. You've got fast-acting ones for modifying behaviors like digestion and blood pressure uh, of the function of various organs. These tend to be water-soluble hormones. They call them the peptide hormones, most of them. And then we have the long-acting hormones that are responsible for adaptation, for changing the shape of our body, for changing the shape of our brain for growth, for development, for healing. These are long-acting hormones, or longer-acting hormones. And they're called the steroid hormones, and they work through the nervous system, specifically either the parasympathetic building nervous system or the breakdown sympathetic nervous system. The steroid hormones are the long-acting hormones that help us adapt to stress and adapt to situation for better or worse. Now, we, all, we started talking about this. We started this discussion seems like a long time ago, probably about a month ago, with our discussion of the youth and fertility hormones. I call them the PPD hormones. Pregnenolone, progesterone, and DHEA. The PPD hormones. Pregnenolone, progesterone, and DHEA. They've got a lot of things in common, but you want to think of them as your youth and fertility hormones, and upregulating these things can be super helpful if you want to stay younger longer. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben. 844-236-6010 is our number. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back right after this. Are you... Back 
on the bright side, pharmacist Ben here, 844 is our number if you have questions about anything we're talking about today or health challenges you or a loved one may be dealing with. If you want help weaning yourself off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, or if you have a success story you'd like to share, if you just want to contribute to the conversation, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products or join the Bright Side Ben team, head over to brightsideben.com, criticalhealthnews.com, or pharmacistben.com, and you can purchase products right off the website, or you can sign up to join the Bright Side Ben team and start yourself a longevity business, all for a one-time $25 investment. You can do it right off the websites, brightsideben.com, criticalhealthnews.com, and pharmacistben.com. And of course, if you're interested in checking out some high-end, super quality, super premium, super valuable, super precious skin health products made without water, wax, emulsifier, fillers, thickeners, preservatives, fragrances, just active and functional ingredients. That's it. Every molecule in my Truth Skin Health products is going to do something to change your skin, and you'll see it in one or two doses. Results like brighter skin, changes in skin tone, changes in skin texture, reduction of fine lines, improvement in acne-prone skin, pretty much anything you want. A skin health product to do or a skin care product to do, you can, you'll be able to get in spades and quickly with my Truth Skin Health products. I've been doing this for 32 years, folks, and this is the culmination of everything I've learned, of everything I know about the skin and about skin health and about ingredients and about formulation put together into four products. I call them Truth Treatments, and they are treatments because they treat your skin, and they're a treat for your skin. You can find out all about it at truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. All right. So, we started talking about our uh, steroid hormones, all, of that, all as it relates to the ketogenic diet. Almost, we've been doing this for probably four or five weeks. The PPD hormones, your youth and fertility hormones, pregnenolone, progesterone, and DHEA. And they're all types of cholesterol. And this is the, you need to know nothing more than the idea that the youth and fertility PPD hormones are types of cholesterol to recognize the stupidity, the utter intellectual and biochemical and scientific bankruptcy, the just complete nonsense about statin drugs and forcing your body to make less cholesterol. It is retarded medicine, period. Tell that to your doctor, quote me, retarded medicine. Oh, well, what about my cholesterol? This is called a meme. It's a mind virus. Cholesterol in the heart, cholesterol and uh, lowering cholesterol mechanically, forcing your body to, to, to uh, sh shut down cholesterol production in the name of health. In addition to shutting down cholesterol, you're going to be shutting down your youth and fertility hormones, your PPD hormones, which in addition to being youth and fertility hormones are calming hormones. And there's an important relationship here between calming and youth, calming and anti-aging calming and, fer uh, and fertility, calming and uh, 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 reproductive ability, calming in libido, calming in the digestive system, calming in the immune system, calming down the body and feeling better, accessing our body's ability to heal itself. There's also an important relationship between the youth, anti-aging, calming hormones, the PPD hormones, and cancer which is an ultimate byproduct of duress. That's exactly what cancer is. Don't let anybody tell you that they don't know what causes cancer. I'm telling you right now, what causes cancer is cells in duress. Cancer is a coping mechanism. It's not even really a disease per se. It's a way the cell and ultimately the tissues and then the body deal with duress. And it should, is it any wonder why cancer rates are increasing and why we get cancer? Look at our culture. We have a stressful culture, we have a duressful culture, we have a culture that promotes fear, and this manifests itself as cancer. I did a video yesterday for Critical Health News, and by the way, we do videos on Critical Health News on various, on various health subjects. I did one yesterday on cancer, and basically what I talked about are non-medical strategies for addressing the disease, not for killing cancer. Even alternative practitioners sometimes get bamboozled by this idea of killing cancer. Oh, what do you do to cure cancer? Oh, I have cancer. What can I take to kill the cancer? It's not how you want to look at it. Now, if you have some kind of stage four massive tumors, massive a mass of tumors going on, then maybe you need some something dramatic. But for the vast majority of our cancers, unless you're talking about some serious, serious business that's progressed to stage four or even stage three, 
what you're talking about to deal with cancer effectively, in my opinion, is helping the body do it. The body has an ability to, to fight cancer. We have an immune system. Do you know there's little cells that are swimming around in your blood constantly looking for cancer? They're scout cells, and they're part of the immune system. And when they spot something that's amiss, something that's awry or an invader or something that shouldn't be there, an entire immune reaction, defensive reaction, is initiated. Cancer occurs when this immune system, defense system, this defense department of ours is overwhelmed. It's like a, it's like a country trying to fight battles on multiple fronts. No matter how strong the army is, eventually, if it's, if it's got multiple fronts that it's trying to defend, it's not going to be doing a very good job. That's why you don't want to fight a war on multiple fronts if you're a country. Now, I'm not saying there aren't times when killing or removing cancer is important, but many times the approach of helping the body do its business on its own, of helping the body deal with cancer on its own, makes a lot more sense, particularly in the early stages of cancer. What distinguishes the appearance of the full-blown disease called cancer and the appearance of cancer cells, which occur all the time, we're all getting cancer all the time in the sense that cells switch into cancer, uh, a way of growing that's cancerous all the time. What distinguishes the full-blown disease from these little tiny appearances of cancer at the cell level is the immune system. When the immune system can't do its work, when it becomes overwhelmed and stressed out, that's when, uh, stressed out, that's when, uh, that's when cancer appears. Much like the cell itself, when it becomes cancerous, or rather when it becomes to grow, when it grows like a cancer cell and processes energy like a cancer cell, much like the cell itself becomes cancer or grows in a cancer-like fashion when it's stressed, stressed out, the body gets cancer when it's stressed out. Disease, all disease really, but specifically the disease of cancer, shows up on two levels. It shows up on the level of the cell, and then it shows up at the level of the body. When we recognize cancer as a disease of duress, as a disease of stress, as a disease of burden, as a disease of overwhelm, we'll begin to understand why it's so logical, why it's just common sense to calm things down, to help the body deal with cancer or any disease. Calming the body down. If you or a loved one is dealing with cancer, or if you want to prevent it from occurring, and for anybody dealing with cancer, it is scary. And for anybody who has a loved one dealing with cancer, it's equally scary. It's our body out of control. You want to help the body do its healing work. That means your number one health objective should be to help the body get stronger, to help the body get healthier. Calming the body helps the body get stronger. The body can kill cancer. Remissions occur. Even from stage four cancer, remissions occur. Doctors call them uh, spontaneous to imply that it's some kind of miracle that occurs. And in a way, it's a miracle, but really it's part of how the body works. The entire body's a miracle. Spontaneous remissions occur. And then all you got to do is look at the fact that spontaneous remissions occur in one person. You know it can occur with anybody. If it occurs in one body, it can occur in, it can occur in anybody. Five-year survivals, by the way, this is how they measure success. Five-year survivals occur with all cancers, even pancreatic cancer. So in a way, even the medical model recognizes that all cancers are potentially curable. The, the strategy for dealing with cancer is to get the body to the point where it feels strong and feels powerful, where it is strong, where it is powerful. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back right after this. On the bright side, I'm Pharmacist Ben. 844-236-6010 is our number. If you're on hold, we'll get to you in just a moment. And we do have lines open at 844-236-6010. If you have questions about drugs or formulations or ingredients or products or something you may have heard about or read about, if you want help weaning yourself off your meds and getting on a good nutritional supplement program, we can help you do that. 844-236-6010 is our number. If you want to purchase any of our Truth Skin Health products, including our Truth Omega-6 Healing Cream, if you're dealing with sunburn or rashes, or you have a baby who has diaper rash, or if you're post-surgery, post-plastic surgery, or facial surgery, or any kind of surgery, and you want to prevent scarring, you want our Truth Omega-6 Healing Cream. I designed it in my pharmacy for burn victims, made with lots of vitamin C, as well as cholesterol, as well as... Uh, transdermal, uh, transdermal support systems, systems that help drive the vitamin C deep into the skin. You can find out all about it at Truth 
truthtreatments.com. Also have a skin health blog at truthtreatments.com. Okay, 844-236-6010 is our number from uh, Science Daily. Huntington's disease, which is a neurodegenerative disease linked to overactive immune response in the brain. No surprise there. The immune system and the inflammatory system are key markers for diseases of all kinds. So it should be no surprise that Huntington's disease, which affects some 30,000 people in the United States, a neurodegenerative disease, which is marked by lack of motor control as well as cognitive functions and depression and other psychiatric problems, psychiatric symptoms. 30,000 people in this country have Huntington's disease and it is an immune system condition. Surprise, surprise. And an inflammatory condition. Also, Alzheimer's disease. This is uh, from uh, the journal PLOS One, Public Library of Science from Mass General Hospital. Alzheimer's associated protein, part of the immune system, part of the innate immune system. Yesterday we talked about how the amyloid plaques, so characteristic of Alzheimer's disease, are themselves part of the immune system. Immunity, inflammation. When it comes to cancer, it's the same thing. On our next program, I'll talk about uh, 10 strategies that you can use for cancer, non-medical strategies you can use to prevent cancer, reverse cancer, help the body deal with the cancer itself. All as it has to do with our PPD hormones, our youth and fertility hormones, pregnenolone, progesterone, or pregnenolone, progesterone, and DHEA. All right, 844-236-6010 is our number. John in Texas, what's going on? Welcome to the Bright Side, buddy. Hi, Ben. Good morning. What's going on? Hello. Hello, hello. Can you hear me? Let's see. Hi, can you hear me? I hear you. Can you hear me? Yes, sir. I can hear you now. Yeah, hey. Ben, I've just, uh, I've just been told that I have walking pneumonia, oh, and uh, I've got very high blood pressure as well. You're just sick, man. Your body is in duress. Have you been listening to the program today by any chance? Did you hear the er, yeah, beginning of the yeah. program? Your body's in duress. You've got to calm the body down so the immune system can do its business. Walking pneumonia is like a low-grade illness. The high blood pressure tells me that there's some go something going on with your emergency nervous system, maybe your blood sugar system. Is it, is a, you just have high blood pressure now or you have a history of it? I've had it once before, but it... Uh, it it calmed down, uh, okay. and I just just found out again recently. All right, we need we need to build your immune system. If you if this is the kind of thing your high blood pressure is not something that you have a history of, or you've had it all chronically, then it's probably related to the duress that your body's in. Your body is stressed out. Do you have a kid, John? Do you have a baby? No, no, no. kids. Never had any kids. No, I've got a little kitten. Okay, you got a little kitten. What do you do if your kitten's freaked out? You, you pet your kitten, you calm down your kitten, you feed your kitten. If there's, any, if, there's a, if there's a little puppy or a dog in the room, you get rid of it or you move it out of the room. You remove any stresses in the kitten's life. And this, you do this when you have a baby, when the baby's crying. Well, guess what? Your body is your kitten. Your body is your baby. Your baby's crying. This is how you want to look at it. So we need to calm the baby down. Number one, you want to make sure you're using nutritional supplements that help strengthen the immune system and the defense system. In addition to the Mighty 90, I would be taking extra vitamin C. In fact, if you're not taking extra vitamin C right now, you're completely missing the boat, John. And right. sip on the BTT while you do it. I'd go get some vitamin C powder. I'd be doing a quarter teaspoon full of, or so once a day or twice a day. Actually, even less. Do an eighth of a teaspoon full three or four times a day because it can cause a little bloating if you do too much all at once. Okay. Do it with your BTT. Make sure you're taking 50, five, zero milligrams of zinc picolinate every day. Make sure you're using the, uh, the Healthy Star Pack, the entire Healthy Star Pack. And I would also be throwing in digestive support, particularly the Ultimate Enzymes and Probiotics. Make sure you're drinking lots of water. Make sure you're moving the lymphatic system. That's your, clear, that, that's your, uh, your poison clearance system, your waste management system. And you want to make sure your lymph is moving. If you have high blood pressure, chances are pretty good your lymph isn't moving as it should. So get on a rebounder, hang upside down, make sure you're doing some brisk walking up the stairs, down the stairs, maybe a quick 160 second run on the treadmill once a day. Anything you do to stimulate the body. Make sure you're calming the body down through deep breathing. And that'll also help uh, give you the, uh, an advantage of helping you move the lymph. Make sure, you're stay, make sure you're staying away from sugar, which is the ultimate immune suppressant substance. I'm sorry, go ahead. Yeah. I, I'm your thing there about getting on a walker is I, I lose my breath after a very, very short walk. John, this, none of this is good, my friend. So I'm guessing that you have more than just walking pneumonia and your high blood pressure is chronic. How old are you, John? 
65. Okay, so we got to turn this thing around. You got more problems than walking pneumonia, John. Your body's breaking down. So everything I just told you, you got to still do, but you got more you, you got more stuff that you got to go through as well. Your body's breaking down. When that happens, when the body breaks down like this as we age, if we haven't been taking care of ourselves, you want to go back to the triangle of disease. The triangle of disease is your grounding. If we, if you try to take care of symptoms, walking pneumonia, high blood pressure, sometimes I get letters where people have 10, 12 different things going wrong in their body, you'll go crazy. You've got to go back to the grounding, back to the fundamentals. This is so, so, so important, you guys, not just for John, but for everybody. If you're dealing with something that seems overwhelming, go back to the fundamentals, the triangle of disease, the digestive system, the blood sugar system, and the adrenal thyroid complex. Return to the triangle. Return to the triangle of disease. Step number one, calm the body down. I've talked about it ad nauseum. Everything we've talked about for the last couple of weeks, calm the body down. Reduce your intake of sugar. Step number two, stabilize the blood sugar using nutrients in addition to reducing your intake of sugar, which hypes up the body and stresses the, the blood sugar system. You want to use nutrients that help the body process sugar, the B complex, electrolytes, and vitamin C and zinc. And then also chromium and vanadium and selenium. Selenium also, by the way, John's very, very important for a lot of reasons. I'd be using 600 micrograms of selenium if I were you too, uh, in addition to the zinc and the vitamin C and the healthy star pack. And then third, if you have any digestive health issues, those need to be corrected. Do not underestimate the power of the digestive system when it comes to calming the body down, when it comes to how our body reacts mentally and emotionally too. There's a major link between the digestive system and the brain. There's a major link between the digestive system and the immune system. So elimination diet, that means you write down everything you eat and when foods that cause problems are eliminated. Fasting, especially before you do your elimination diet, and then also intermittently and caloric restriction, restricting your calories, and then using juices and soups. Liquid nutrition, John, beyond tangy tangerine, vegetable juices, if you don't have a Vitamix, it's a good idea to get one, or maybe a Nutribullet, because you want the fiber. And then uh, also soups, like chicken soup. Chicken soup is amazing. It's Jewish penicillin. It's amazing for the immune system. It's like penicillin. All the cartilage factors and the protein help support the immune system. Make sure you're doing a lot of chicken soup. In fact, that should be the main source of your caloric intake, in my opinion, John. All right, buddy. Got to move on. Thank you so much for your call, brother. Hope we, hope we helped you out and hope everything works out for you. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben. 844-236-6010 is our number. Got lines open for you. We'll be back on the bright side right after this. Okay, we are back on the bright side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. 844 236 6010 is our number from the dermatologist. This is a journal called The Dermatologist. New psoriasis biologic could be blockbuster. It's a new drug, TALTS, T A L T Z, recently approved by the FDA for the treatment of. Moderate to severe plaque psoriasis expected to generate sales of more than $1 billion. Why? Because it shuts down your immune system so you don't have to look at your psoriasis. Not necessarily, you know, if you got psoriasis and you're desperate, I could see why you'd buy this stuff, but psoriasis is an, is an immune system condition. It's an inflammatory condition. Doesn't it make more sense to work on the immune system and the inflammatory system? This whole drug mentality... Uh, it's not for us, folks. From uh, editorial page in the Wall Street Journal yesterday, muscular dystrophy in the FDA. Apparently, the Wall Street Journal is scolding the FDA for not approving drugs fast enough. See, the business world wants drugs to be approved faster. We get this idea that it's so it's so evil. We get this idea that the FDA is somehow bad. They're somehow e they're somehow the bad guys because. Uh, they're holding up the production of drugs. So you get this kind of false enemy created. Oh my God, how can the FDA do that? You, you better release those drugs so we can have more drugs. That's what the Wall Street Journal says. I wonder if it has anything to do with the $1 billion uh, th that's expected to uh, be made by drug companies for this anti-psoriasis biologic. Folks, the drug companies are not here for you. The FDA is not here for you. Your doctors, unfortunately, aren't here for you or me either. 
the days of the, uh, the, the friendly neighborhood physician who comes and does house calls is over. Doctors work for Kaiser now, and they work for Aventus now, uh, uh, Adventus now, or uh, uh, I forgot the name of the hospital corporation. They work for hospitals. They work for HMOs. They don't work for us. All right, 844-236-6010 is our number. You're listening to The Bright Side. Steve in PA. What's up, my friend? Hi, Ben. Hey, Steve. Yep, I'm, uh, and incidentally, I'm not in PA. I'm in Pennsylvania. Okay. PA okay. It's a federal territory. That's so ah, you're country. right. You're, that's a very good point. You're in right. Pennsylvania. I like that. Uh, question. Penn's Woods. Uh, regarding uh, uh, cholesterol and, uh, uh, cholesterol and, uh, oh, I had made a note here, but I lost it. I was doing something. <laughs> uh, oh, no. Cholesterol and, uh, uh, tri- uh, not triglycerides, but uh, ketones. Uh, yes. Can you discuss the uh, uh, the uh, what the uh, uh, ketones uh, in, in raspberries? They're selling raspberry ketones yes. and yes. Uh, 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 and uh, I think uh, coffee ketones. What do they? Are they like a? Uh, do they? Uh, are they like kind of like a? make your blood more like turpentine? Like no, 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 no. Ketones are high energy compounds that, that the brain can use and that the heart can use. And they're produced when we fast, when we don't get a lot of calories, or when a lot of our calories come in from fats. So encouraging the production of ketones is a very, very important strategy for energy, especially for the heart and the brain, but for overall energy. Encouraging the production of ketones occurs through fasting, through caloric restriction, and through the high fat diet. These days, however, some companies have figured out that you can actually take ketones. You don't have to worry about fasting. You can actually take ketones as a supplement. And that's what these raspberry ketones are. And I never got a, I'm, I haven't got a chance to talk about them yet, but I will be talking about them in the future. So you can take ketones orally as a supplement in addition to helping your body make them. In my experience, it doesn't work as well because there's more to the health benefits of caloric restriction and fasting than just ketones. However, you may notice some benefit and some people do notice benefit. Have you taken them at all? Yeah. And, what do you uh, notice? Do you notice uh, anything? I just have a lot of energy, and it doesn't. Uh, I don't want to eat. It doesn't. Okay. Uh, I could go a lot longer in a day without. Uh, without it seems like uh, without uh, even wanting to eat. How, how many of the? How many raspberry ketones, or how much do you take? I think uh, one uh, capsule uh, is equal. To, uh, I think it's about a 500 milligram capsule is equal to 70 uh, quarts of uh, raspberries. Well, no, but I'm talking about in terms of, in terms of the ketones. Uh, how, does it tell you how much how many ketones you're taking if somebody wants to you do what you're doing? Yeah, in terms of milligrams. Uh, I can't remember offhand, but I will. Uh, uh, yeah, look at yeah. I'll give us a call back and let us know. Some other folks might want to try it. Raspberry what I ketones. No, is how how is this caloric uh, ketones? Could they be related to the uh, resveratrol? No, they're not related to resveratrol. like the fountain of youth. No, not at all. No, here's your here's the answer. No, negative. So, so uh, why? I'll why? tell you why. why? Res- why? Let me tell you why. Hang on, Steve. Hang on, Steve. Let me tell you why. Uh, ketones provide the body with energy. Resveratrol has a protective effect. That's why you need hundreds of milligrams of ketones if you're taking supplements, and you need like m- one milligram of resveratrol or half a milligram of resveratrol. Resveratrol works more like a uh, protective substance. It's not an energy. You don't get energy from resveratrol. Ketones are energizing. I got to move on, uh, Steve. But one, what I'd like you to question. do, one more yes, question. sir. Why, why does the resveratrol stimulate the uh, fasting? When you eat resver- resveratrol, Not, you'll have to show them that doesn't make any biochemical sense. You'll have to show me where where you heard that or how you know that, and I'd like because to that, that makes no biochemical like sense. Zippo, trans, not a trans resveratrol and regular resveratrol. They're the same. They're, they're, essentially, they're the same. They're not exactly the same, but essentially they're the same. So, Thank you, Ben. Okay, buddy. Thank you. Take Bye. care, Steve. All right. Uh, 844-236-6010. Kim in Orlando. What's going on? Welcome to the Bright Side. Oh, hi, Ben. It's been a while since I talked to you, but we're still listening to you and hoping someday you'll have a seminar in Orlando. I hope to. I hope to. Um, Basically, a quick question. Um, A a lady that I know has been on Cymbalta for about six months, and it's given her really, really bad side effects. And um, she wondered if there's any type of nutrient that could help um, with the depression or, or whatever. Absolutely. Going on. Absolutely. There's bazillions of them. Now, first of all, I'm always a little bit hesitant to just say use, use nutrition and, and uh, physical strategies for dealing with depression, I assume, or anxiety. Why is she taking the Cymbalta? For depression? 
anxiety, stress, uh, okay. job, the whole bit. It's like a catch-all. Yeah, it's like the the pro, uh, for the listeners, Cymbalta is a version of Prozac, a type of Prozac, and they give it to you for fibromyalgia and for stress and for neuropathy, and they just give it to you as a catch-all supplement. That's why one out of ten Americans are on these types of drugs. So here's the deal: if she's just dealing with anxiety and, and depression. I, again, I, I just I'm very careful about saying just take supplements for this or just do physical strategies because you got to deal with the mental components too. That having been said, you want to relax the body, calm the body down. Everything we've been talking about here. So first and foremost, the quickest way to calm the body down is by sitting on the couch and practicing slow, deep breathing. Okay, five minutes a day, five minutes in the morning, five minutes at night, and whenever she remembers when she's driving and she's stuck in rush hour, she's waiting in line at the bank, whatever. Uh, slow deep breathing means activating the diaphragm, the, the muscle that's right in the middle of the body. You want the diaphragm to sink down when you're filling up your lungs with, with oxygen, and you want your diaphragm to rise up as you're expelling. And you always want to expel or exhale a little bit more than you inhale. So maybe five, maybe 10 seconds inhale, five, or, I'm sorry, uh, five or 10 seconds inhale, and then maybe 15 seconds on the exhale. She'll have to work to see where she, where it's comfortable for her. The second thing you want to do is keep your sugar intake low. Sugar will hype up the nervous system, the brain, and low blood sugar will cause depression. High blood sugar, low, the high, I call it the high blood sugar, low blood sugar roller coaster is the biochemical version of bipolar disorder. We go high blood sugar, we get manic, we go low blood sugar, we get uh, anxiety. So controlling the, her sugar intake using more protein, especially protein that contains something called B, C, AAs, which stands for branched chain amino acids. You can buy those by themselves. They're found in whey protein, have her on the Slender FX or the Keto FX product. Both are good sources of the branched chain amino acids. Fasting, and by the way, fasting and the BCAAs work together in a very interesting way, which I don't have time to talk about, but fasting, uh, the BCAAs encourage some of the same chemistry as fasting does. So fasting is another strategy and caloric restriction is another great strategy. Using niacin is very helpful. I'd be using the timed release ultimate niacin. She can get some wonderful benefits from that. Magnesium can be very helpful. Uh, probiotics can be important. Don't forget about pregnenolone and progesterone cream. She should be on 100 milligrams, maybe even more, but at least 100 milligrams a day of pregnenolone. That can have wonderful calming effects on the body. And then uh, the B vitamins, in addition to niacin, the entire B complex, I'd get her on the healthy start pack as soon as possible. And of course, if she has any digestive issues, those need to be corrected and caloric restriction will help restricting her calories using more nutrients from soups. Uh, exercise can also be helpful. And doesn't, you don't need much, one minute a day of exercise. And then, of course, working on the whole mind-body aspect with uh, meditation and yoga and anything she could do to help, work on, uh, help her work on her mind, the whole mind-brain organ system that we talked about earlier. Well, that's all. That's it, Pam. Yeah? What about GABA? GABA? GABA is also a good one. Absolutely. Absolutely. Good one, Kim. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Take okay. care, Kim. Have a beautiful day. All right. That's all the time we have for today. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Thanks for listening, friends. Check out my skin health products at truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com, especially our retinol 5% gel. We'll talk to you later, folks. Have a wonderful, beautiful, spectacular day. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Bye for now.